may be violent, might be a little too violent. Are we kind of a... Um, just going to try and find my... Okay. Okay, right. Uh, shouldn't start too high because then I have all the time this problem with... Uh, Like it's funny, it's a sound of the cocktail shaker that gives me an idea of where the door is.
Bless you. I don't know where the floor is, so I have to go down and have a feel. How far away am I from the chair and stuff here? Okay, that way? Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, like, like I used to do um, 
when I was doing record sleeves at the beginning, you'd do like the illustration that then you'd hand over to the record company and they'd give it to their graphic guys who'd handle all the rest. So you'd get paid less, but also you wouldn't have as much creative control of uh, what you actually did. It will never be put into place uh, the way you would have liked it to be. So, um, so um, that's when I had to start to learn to use uh, Photoshop and Quark Express until the point where they would give you the UPC or whatever it was um, font that would, um, what's that, make the barcode, you know, like, uh, me, 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 me. thank you. Um, so at some point, if you want to have more creative control, if whatever you're doing will end up being a digital file, you will have to um, uh, try and uh, learn uh, the different steps along the way to take it to the end product before it goes off to the printer. Uh, anything that you will delegate, be prepared for it to be misinterpreted, misunderstood, and turn into something that you may not be happy with. Oh, that's not how my drawing was. That's not how I saw it. Yeah, but so, uh, you know, uh, and uh, you have to do what the record company can um, um, offer within its own uh, kind of list of pro time uh, priorities and budget priorities, you know. So, uh, um, so also when you learn how to, you know what, that can tilt more forward, you know what? Sorry, oh, that's gonna go. Um, that used to happen on, um, on, um, hip-hop jams, you'd be painting live, just improvising stuff, and uh, you'd be going on for maybe like two hours, and then you realize it's totally wrong, and you just have to spray over the whole thing. And uh, yeah, shit happens. Because I really want to try a even tighter inclinaison. But now she's looking straight forwards, no. Thank <sighs> you. 
Nine, 90 frames per second. Wow. That's more than Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Not that I'm a big Disney fan, anyway. Well. Um, I mean, we we try, I mean, like, coming from part of my own background, when you were stuck with very limited space between, like, a couple of park trains or something, uh, you would kind of uh, work with what space you have, you know. So, so um, whatever happens, you know, you try to um, get in where you fit in. You know, like so. So, um, um, I mean, like, I'm what I was wondering was that maybe you could uh, just drop a couple of bits on the floor and stuff, you know, just uh, um, prepare. I mean, like, um, in each corner of the grid, maybe of this, uh, Okay, well, you want me to go to every corner? So, uh, where, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Well, that's a long way away. Okay, okay, okay. Seen it. Seen it. Yeah, that's Okay. Here. Well, that. This is what the table Okay, you know what? Let me. Let me. Let me. No, 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 no. Just, just let me. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, the blue grid, yeah. is it far away? Okay, okay, okay. Here's the wall here. Yeah, yeah, but the, like, I'm just putting the, the, yeah, the edges of the grid. Right here because there's the, uh, the tower. Yeah, the tower, okay. Yeah, that, that's what. Okay. In about here. I can see one here. Okay. All right. Well, I have something. Bearings. Um, okay, cool. You need a kind of digital guide dog kind of thing. Thank you. 
And it's really weird when you try to move slowly, it re you really get the shakes. Uh, so you don't get a nice flow in a line. Uh, and it's kind of comparable to when you got a can in your hand. And uh, if you move too slow, you're going to get drips. You know, so, um, so you have to try and just make an arc in the emptiness of uh, where you think the shape is. But um, I don't know the depth of the back of the skull. So I'm just uh, really, if I try from the side. And I wobble, wobble, wobble. So this one's way too far out. Um, sorry that I had to kind of try and cram a lot of information in really quick on that debate thing, Chris. It's just that, uh, like, you told me about the the time thing for when we needed to go live. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember the bits that... Um, yeah, yeah, like I didn't know, like, yeah, like what you said about the Barry McGee paintings of the record label, you know, that were worth more than uh, anything they'd ever sold, you know, in the end, you know. Did you ever listen to Rush from uh, Toronto? Yeah. Because they had that song in the end, didn't they? Yes, you can. Like I'm really showing my uh, prog rock uh, roots. Uh, and I can feel what you feel. Just takes me longer. You can take me for a little while. You can take me, you can make me smile in the end. Yeah, Mode was like doing this stuff, and it was like doing prog rock shit. It all just, Oh man, that dude's whack. Geddy Lee, Alex Lyson, and Neil Peart on drums, if I remember rightly. Yeah. What's that? There was an article in the, the Source magazine way back. Uh, could have been like a February, March 94 or something about a gangster. And um, Premier was talking about his influence. He said, Yeah, yeah, and even Rush. And then the journey said, and the room went quiet. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I mean, like, uh, who was it from Invisible Scratch Pickles who was uh, doing uh, Tom Sawyer? Tom Sawyer used to be a big kind of breakbeat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's funny that uh, MF MF Doom used that uh, break. Doom to doom 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 to doom 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 to doom 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 to doom. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So MF Doom is whack too because he also got into prog rock. Now, nah, okay, let's not go there. Yeah, that's what's really weird about you know, like about uh, you know, representing keep it real and stuff. But it's like, uh, I mean, it was really totally open to lots of different uh, influences. You know, like a, you know, there's a bit of something useful and good to grab here and there, and you know. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, a bit like some of the most homophobic people have a kind of latent, uh, uh, yeah, homosexual qualities to them that they, I hate this part of myself. I hate it, so I hate them. You know, kind of crap. Yeah, the most. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, dude, it's okay. You know, it's totally okay. We're not going to judge you on that. And anyone who does is an idiot anyway, but hey. Ace in the hole? No, that was, uh, what's his name? Uh, third third base with, uh, with the KMD. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the with the record cover that didn't get accepted, the Black Bastards record cover, and uh, so it w never got released. Well, it didn't get released then, and then uh, and then Sub Rock uh, came to an untimely end, and uh, so we so you know maybe we, we could have had some better years of KMD back then. Um, I heard it was traffic ac accident, yeah. The MF Doom thing is getting in my head. Is it live? Is it is it dope? Is it funky fresh? No, that's um, th three times dope. Yeah, straight up, ooh, coming to you live. It's 3D in effect. Chuck nice Woody Wood in your ears. Uh, that's what uh, 1989. So, won't you follow the leader from the hilltop? Yeah, it was very difficult to consider kind of moving back to London at that time, uh, knowing that it was kind of full-on rave scene. And it was like, come on, man, that was a pretty good years of hip-hop, seriously. Uh, all those who were kind of youngsters when Sugar Hill Gang and Run DMC and all that, and then Run DMC and all that, uh, had reached kind of maturity and wanted to do their own shit back by that, by that time. And uh, so there was a really a lot of diversity coming out. Um, and then the record industry thought, okay, we've gone beyond the uh, run DMC and Aerosmith, October 86, around there somewhere with a walk this way. And uh, so this is not just a Def Jam fluke. This is actually, there's potential here to get in on it. And, uh, use it and profit from it, you know? So that's what, that moment where they start to sign people that already sound like people who already existed. It, just my opinion, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but, the, but it stops or it um, kind of smothers what could have been a more organic evolution and uh, groups start to sound a bit the same and it starts to become very difficult for left field stuff to... Uh, developed, you know, you had to wait for uh, stone throw and, um, and uh, what's that, uh, uh, rec um, the ones who had company flow and stuff, um, uh, sorry, um, what, 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 what um, stable company flow and that lot were on, um, company flow, uh, 
compilation. Huh? Roker, thank you. I was, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, like the other day, we were struggling to find Pharrell Williams uh, with uh, Jean Christophe and Abdallah at the table, and I said, "You don't touch that phone. Let's try and re let's try and find out with our brains and remember uh, why we're having a kind of memory lapse here." You know, like. Uh, but at the same time, I'm trying to do this, so it's a little less easy to focus on uh, 90s record labels. Sorry? What is a good test? And uh, yeah, and do wireframe figure. Yeah, 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 I'll do it all the time. I'll do, I'll do it while I'm sleeping. <laughs> like uh, dreaming about driving. Yeah, something I never learned. But living in Paris was like kind of, can pretty much put you off driving actually. Straight up. Chuck nice woody wood in your ears. <laughs> so so you guys can see on the screen the bits that I'm actually staring at yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't been able to see what's happening on the screen while I'm doing this, of course, but uh, yeah. Uh. Oh, oh, look at what I did. What's that, uh, special ed? Look at what we did and we did it for fun. Look at what we made and we did it for fun. They're, yeah, they're never happy, are they, Chris? Like, you give them this, and then what? Yeah, you know, Chris, why don't you? <laughs> yeah. Someone said unique, so I'm thinking of rather unique from, was that AZ with Pete Rock on production back in the days? Anybody? Anybody? No, it's a, it's a mid-90s hip-hop. <laughs> AZ. Yeah, rather unique. Was that, was, that, was that AZ with Pete Rock on production? Boom, 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 boom. It's the, the tonality. Uh, could be Premier, actually. Oh, you mean you say that Premier was biting people? No, all right, all right, let's not go there. <laughs> I mean, those were like the three main kind of dudes for a while. Uh, you know, if it wasn't a Premier sound, it was a Pete Rock sound. And if it wasn't then, you went over to the West Coast and got a Dre sound, kind of, pretty much. But um, before, uh, is her head too big? Mm. 
Sorry? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, I mean, like, I like Little Dap, but um, I wasn't the biggest fan of Malachi's uh, Nutcracker's um, lyrics. But, I mean, I've said it online now, but uh, so I'm a dead man the next time I go to Brooklyn. Sorry? Yo, man, mode like this, Manica, the nutcrackers, straight up. <laughs>
and if you feel that you can't go, and your world's sinking low. In the light, you will find the room, find the room. In the light from Led Zeppelin. Uh, yeah, I mean those little bits help, but but also I mean like I mean like I only did it kind of that once in your living room, so so there 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 will obviously be a slight learning curve here, but that that's kind of pretty actually acute, not acute, but like a uh, but it's it's like you, but I think the. Um, the, what's his name? The torso is maybe a little too tassé, uh, too uh, compressed. Um, so, uh, but other than that, yeah, I mean, like, a, a, I mean, it's like in the thing of trying to accentuate, um, um, tension, like, a, like, a, um, maybe I squeeze a little bit too much action in a, small area, but like a, hey, you know, it, it's a sketch. And, uh, sorry? A what on it? Uh, no, I mean, it's, it's uh, pretty much androgynous because uh, I'm trying to keep away from doing too many uh, giveaway bits that might... Um, But like you said something about light, so now I've got in the light from Led Zeppelin, and it's like, hey, all right, let's. Uh... We used to play this game with my friends called it a song for every occasion. So we're having a conversation, and anything that comes up, dude, there's a song that goes with that, and uh, and uh, so um, of course, rap was always useful because there, I mean, there's so much lyrical content there that. Uh, you always end up finding a rap tune with a with a relevant lyrics to what you're talking about, but um, yeah, but you know, like, give me some words and there's and, and there's a tune that has uh, the title song or something, you know. Ouch. I'm going to remove some elements here to try and um, stretch the torso slightly. Very dangerous thing because you can take off too much uh, in one fell stroke. Uh, I, I don't know how the command Z works on that one, you know, so uh, I let them, uh, too late. <laughs> Thank you. 
What, what was that, Chris? Nah. Uh, it's like it's like those times when you've been out with a bunch of friends and you went to paint trains or something and then you're waiting the next morning to take the photos and of course the thing never shows up so um uh, you know and that was that what's that catch it while it's there like a bit like those pe people are stuck looking at their at their phones, and uh, the train comes out of the tunnel, and it's bright sunlight outside. There's so much nice stuff to see, but they're still looking at their phone screens for something that's obviously way more beautiful somewhere else. Not, you know. Hey, it's. <laughs> that's not interesting. I mean, doesn't that say something about uh, what we've relegated our conversation to if we can't even actually engage with someone across, across the table? You know, like, um, that, that's pretty scary. Yeah. No? No. Oh, no, they won't. Oh, no, they won't. I'm not having any of that. No, no, I mean, well, uh, What's it like? It's when they're going to start to put like a uh, to grab bits of you and put you in strange situations and show that you did this or you did that. Then it's kind of stuff. Um, uh, I mean, it's it's really weird what we we'll put our intelligence to, uh, what uh, where we're going to spend loads and loads of money and resources and human time uh, into kind of developing things that are just kind of relegating us to pretty much uh, obs obsolescence and uh, and um, when. I mean, like my, that's my personal take. When we've messed up so much, like on this planet, like shouldn't be we be focusing, pouring our resources into uh, fixing the shit we did before? You know, you know, like uh, it's just, you know, like intelligence and wisdom are two completely different things. Oh, come on, that's a cop out. Well, like, uh, have you realized? Have you realized that in a, uh, in a. Um, in a more opulent or wealthy uh, uh, societies, people have less children 
So maybe if we were to drag more people out of poverty, you know, they'd be having uh, less children because um, of the chance of losing children because of, you know, poverty and the situations that they're living in. It's like, I better have more because I don't know how many are going to die by the time they, you know, before they reach maturity. I mean, like, uh, there have been studies, there have been studies done that have a, a matched kind of a, you know, like a, what's that, like families with a lot of, um, yeah, no, 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 but, but, they, but they're just trying to, wait, I better have loads of children because statistically so many are going to die, you know, or I haven't had a son yet, so let me have another child, oh shit, another daughter, oh no, okay, let's, let's try again, you know, like, uh, so, um, I don't know. I mean, like, um, and there is enough food to feed everyone if we consider how much supermarkets throw away. Uh, like, I heard that this has changed now in France, and they're not supposed to. Uh, um, well, again, if we consider how much we do throw away before, you know, before it even gets to the supermarket. I mean, like when uh, my friend Nico and I were going uh, off to uh, San Cristobal Les Ales looking for, to, to get the stretcher bars for last year's uh, exhibition, we went by one of these uh, golden watermelons, you know, the honey wa wa watermelons, uh, those ones. We went past a field where there were a whole bunch of them just left there to rot because they didn't fit into the 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 right category, the right caliber for the supermarket shelves, you know. So um, there's just loads and loads of, uh, of, uh, of uh, I mean, we also have to look at uh, what aspect of our actual standards of living are causing this, the amount of damage that one extra child can, uh, can potentially have. Why is it, why are you saying that like Western, like a child in the Western world? You know, like, uh, does that mean that, uh, well, I can't drive, you know. Uh, so, I mean, I, I'm just saying, you know, like, so, so let's try and see how, th how do we uh, actually optimize public transport. But the fact is that they ripped out public transport because they wanted everyone to buy a car because that can keep the car factories making well, more cars. You know, so, so it's, um, it's um, we, somewhere we have to also look at what, uh, what aspects of more people are, are actually uh, Exacerbating this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, problem, you know, and I and gone. Yeah. Yeah, because we've conditioned them and uh, undereducated them to and uh, made them addicted in a way or dependent on. I mean, the, the kind of sad thing about that part of the world was that uh, all the, what's that, the public transport was, was phased out so that the cars uh, could, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, then from uh, that thing, um, how geographically everything was developed from that point on was, uh, yeah, because you've got the car, you can build anywhere, you, you know, so that, that's why you don't really have any, um, um, you just have these sprawls and you don't have uh, local shops, you know, like in a, 
you know, like in an old city like Paris, you know, like you have kind of neighborhoods with local shops and all that, that, that kind of stuff. You're dependent on a car to uh, go anywhere. Uh, if I didn't have my friend um, say no with a car when I went to do um, art in the streets back in 2011, we would never have got to Blick Arts and, uh, and this, that, and the other, you know. So, so it's... Um, I think we're going to give us some kind of a hair thing on the top because that's so that's a big head. Wow, like Kate Bush. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're all alone on the stage tonight. We've been told we're not afraid of you. Wow, Kate Bush, yeah? Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, some dude was asking me outside, am I inspired by the past, the future, or the present? No, it's, it's all blending constantly. You know, like a, a, it's like you're, you're in a weird kind of a intemporal soup where depending on which bit you're dealing with, uh, it will either take you back, take you forward, or keep you now. You know, like, so, so it's, uh, we're living in kind of very, what, elastic times, you know, like, um, um, uh, uh, or elasticated times, you know. Sorry? Um, well, now, <laughs> way too much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, uh, you would not be able to, uh, no record label would spend time on developing a Björk or something like that these days because it just sounds too odd, you know, like, so. Because they were odd. Yeah. Because they were being themselves, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> 
well, what's that? Um, protect your neck was getting sold out of car boots, you know. So, um, so, uh, uh, so I mean, <laughs> what? I don't know. Maybe you should ask Dante Ross about. Blair Witch. What you learned was what, sorry? Yeah, 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 but, but, but this is a soup that we've uh, made of it all by slowly, I mean, like, uh, okay, I mean, like some people are going to have a go. I mean, you remember, um, I mean, like in, in the UK, like you used to have a lot more kind of diverse pop groups showing up from here, there and everywhere. And then when um, Stock Aitken and Waterman got their hands on it and just started to kind of uh, compose and write and just kind of churn them out from, uh, well, so they started out with Dead or Alive and then there was what, Lisa Stanfield, Rick Astley, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay, I've seen the line. Like, uh, and um, and um, so, you know, I mean, like, then you stopped having this time when, uh, uh, okay, so some labels did really push and market a particular genre, even like two-tone and the specials and all that kind of stuff for a while and whatever. But still, it was um, a kind of around a kind of a movement of one kind or another, you know, and, uh, and not just so blatantly, uh, you know, if you want to go there, like, I'd rather take Motown, I guess. You know, like uh, at least they had a, a Smokey Robinson and Lamont Dozier Holland and people like that and Marvin Gaye writing for them. You know, like uh, so uh, uh, it's just a case of what you're going to get as soupy. And then when you've made it to a point where people can't make the difference between shit and sugar, how the hell are you going to sell them sugar, you know, when they can't make the difference? And, you know, stuff that actually takes effort to, to actually... Oh, uh, and MSG, yeah. Michael Shanker Group. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, like monosodium glutamate. I mean, like, but we used to have that stiff, that that stuff, like, on the table. You know, uh, uh, where I come come from, it was just a, uh, like, it would sprinkle it on as liberally as salt. You know, and then we heard it was apparently bad for you. You know, and uh, in um, and we used to know it under this Japanese name, Ajinomoto. You know, like, uh, um, uh, so, uh, but we we just use that stuff like crazy. You know. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I tried to cut food out of my diet because I was having like four or five cups of tea per day. And then when you'd have a, no, not four or five, not as many as that, but like when, but, but, but I'd have big mugs of tea. And then when you put four sugars in each, I mean, that starts to be a, a fair amount of sugar, you know.
thing is that the floor, I can't get my head uh, horizontally because of the goggles. So I'm kind of, uh, you know, and then there's the thing here. But so it's going to be a bit fuzzy with the toes. Sorry. I promise next time I won't do it again. Ah. Fabrique. Il fabrique. I think I touched something there because I, it's it's jogged just slightly. No, 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 no. It's it's me. I think I got a little too close. I think just blinks. You remember like when we were like, like in your living room, and uh, no, 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 no. It was just it was just one little. I think I was way too close uh, over there for, for for a second. Maybe if I put heels. Okay, I'm definitely not. Uh, Manolo Blanik, aficionado, not aficionado, but I'm no bloody shoemaker, am I? Let's, let's face the facts. <whistles> what, what time is it, Chris? Okay, so we have half an hour playing time. Uh, I really have a problem when I hear people say create, create. It's like, nah, I'm not bloody creating. It's not living, is it?
Am I? No, no, no. Some, sometimes it disappears, and it, and it. Um... Um, hang on. Check, check, check those a second. Okay. Sorry. Like it's, it's, uh, they're flickering. Okay. Wanna, you need to... Oh, okay. Uh, they're, they're, they're kind of jumping and going back. I'm not seeing any jumping or flickering. No. It could be that if it, you're getting it in strange angles, that the lasers are having a hard time tracking. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm, so I'm in a strange angle where I'm getting it way over. Something like okay, that. Okay, 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 cool. cool. Well, I just wanted to know before something really boring. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't know where you are, Francois. <laughs> <You're... laughs> And I'm getting that when I put my knee on the ground. You know, there's a little bit in between where it pinches if you kneel down. And I, and I just had that, like, well, I don't think I'm going to kneel. <laughs> Is that Francois leaving? Tu t'en vas, Francois? Ok, non, 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 je, je pensais qu'il. Non, 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 j'ai une bouteille juste, juste derrière. Is that Yannick? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, 
I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to go by voices without seeing who's talking. Uh, really difficult to do things close to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, it's just a, uh, okay, these are... Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you do that for me? All right. How's that? Pick it up some more, please. Oh, cool. All right. All right. Thank you. I got access to feet. Right. How much, sorry? But, but um, my 2D drawing technique is kind of based around, uh, that's the, the kind of a bit maybe what brought, made Chris bring me like in, into that. My 2D te technique is based around wireframe. So, so uh, I'm used to drawing in 2D like this. Um, it's just that I have to try and be aware of, um, of uh, depth. So I, so, I, so I can't actually, uh, track what I'm doing on a, on all um, three planes at the same time, uh, so that that's the little tricky bit. Uh, but like, uh, but I'm anyway kind of keeping it kind of sketchy -y because uh, because uh, uh, this is just too much to. I mean, like, um, you know, maybe if you've got a couple of days to spend on one, you'll try. But uh, that would also just get someone get get on my nerves. To be spending like a couple of days like on one figure, um, the 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 movement and the position and the kind of torsion, tension, all that kind of stuff is uh, maybe more important to me than a uh, anatomical um, precision. So um, yeah, but um, good thing that Chris managed to lift this thing off of the ground because it was. <laughs> Because it was way too close to the ground, and I and I couldn't get to the feet, and um, so that was really tricky. Um, it's the same thing with a uh, sometimes with a um, when you're painting with a spray can, and uh, the the can is so tall. So when you get to the bottom of the wall or the bottom of any surface, like it just like it just knocks on the bottom, so bang, you know, and. Uh, yeah, and if you're doing the final outlines and it goes bang, and well, maybe not, you know. Oh, yes, of course, the thing is here, but the limit's down. There. Okay, cool. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, next question? <laughs> or next day? Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 it's, no, it's all right, actually, it's, but, uh, but, but it's really tiring once you just move away from it. There are people. Sorry, sorry Chris. Uh, yeah, I'm just being a bit pedantic or pedant. Uh, 
Royal College of Art. I never got into art school, so I don't, I, I don't believe in any of that guff. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like I was saying to you the other day, Chris, the only thing that really, where I really regretted not being able to get into art school back in, what, 1987 or whenever it was, uh, was that um, um, I wanted to see how the other students problem solve. I'm not really, uh, you know, and just their path of problem solving is uh, how you can uh, um, adapt some of their thought patterns to your own problem solving. You know, that, that, that's, that was like the main thing. Yeah. Work it out. We can work it out. We. Like, um, Chris, can you bring this character back down again for me, please? Uh, hang, on, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. This is like the lightest crane, the you know, the most powerful crane, it's just like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Uh, um, right down, right down. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
They'll crack it. <laughs> yes, they will. <laughs> nah, they'll crack it. I don't know what's that. I mean, I mean, like eventually, I mean, like nothing is totally. Uh, you know, some bots going to come along and uh, and uh, and uh, work something out. <laughs> Uh huh. So, so, so is that why Bitcoin is being a bit messed around with right now to bring its value down? Yeah. Right now. Come on. Uh, tu veux dire, tu veux dire, est-ce que je vois la dernière ligne droite? Non, je non. <rire> non, 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 je, je sais pas, genre, genre, euh, euh, non, euh, là, on, là, on est en train de chercher euh, où il où, où y a vraiment des trucs flagrants, quoi. Euh, mais, 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 comme, comme je disais juste avant, ce n'est pas un truc. Euh, euh, tu, tu vois, c'est 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 un exercice de de, de torsion, de d'articulation, de tout ça, plus qu'un plus qu'un qu'un truc euh, anatomiquement exact. Euh, euh, c'est pas quand on est en soirée et il y a de la bonne musique, on a les yeux fermés et on pense qu'on est en train de faire les meilleures phases du monde, mais peut-être genre euh, vu euh, genre vu du, genre vu du côté de la piste, tu dis oh là 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 là, mais qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Tu vois, donc, euh, donc, euh, mais, mais c'est, mais, mais c'est un truc vraiment genre, euh, ouais, c'est au feeling quoi, tu vois. Ouais. Ouais, euh, genre, j'en, 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 j'en sens presque les doigts de pied. Bref, euh, je crois qu'on est quasiment euh, euh, presque. Okay. Disastrous. Okay, yeah, because you do the whole thing. Then uh, you're going to have to bring the thing a bit. Watch where you might have to put the screen 
the the goggles on yeah well save it first save it save it first put like put the goggles on and then drag it to the middle of the room where you can because the the repairs are then flying so got it. Okay. Really you just you just have to sit there and guide me. Okay. Here's can you see the the monitor? Okay. This is how you save. This is the little icon to save sketch. Click on that, and then just take a screenshot so you have an icon for it. Now that it's saved. Okay. So you you want me to take this and drag it this way? Yes. Yeah, I do. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Yes. I see. Okay. 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 One second. So take it this way. Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see. Right there. To my right. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, how far? I, I can feel tension on here. Is it okay? Okay. It's It's inside the grid. Yeah. Okay, one se one second. Oh, na damn, I have to lower the whole thing. Uh, yeah, one sec. There. Okay, that one's gone. There's one over there. Okay. Okay, there, I have to... Can I get here? Because there's, there's no. Okay, that one's gone. There's one over here. So you might have to actually. What about the one in that far corner? Yeah, I can get that. There might be one in that far corner somewhere. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. No, I can't get it. Okay, one sec. Ah, damn, I gotta pick it up. Okay, got it. Back away. Step over this way. Yeah. Now, you can see the, the line for the table. Yeah. See whether you can reach that, and I'll tell you what you put in the table, whether you should put the whole thing and everything. Okay, uh, this is the line here. There's the line here. Yeah. This way? Okay. Okay. I I just put I put it down lower so I probably can't Yeah, yeah. This one too? Okay. Okay, where do you this is on the ground? Okay. Here's the middle of the room. Okay. Yeah. That looks good. Okay, let me just see. Okay, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. That's a, a touch more. Okay, wow. Damn. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just resave it real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome job. Man. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay.